What is going on, bitch on gamers? It is Benson, and today we are going to be ranking the top five assault rifles in Cold War Zombies. If you haven't already, leave a like, subscribe, all that cool nonsense. Check out the links in the description. You know how this goes, but speaking of subscribers, shout out to the lead, Troy Troy, and also Charles Stouter. They subscribe to me, and if you do, I'll shout you out. Yes, you the big kill me. And if not, I'll come to your house and throw Lego pieces around the floor. So, you know, you won't know where they're at. But in that, gamers, let's get it. To start us off, we have the XM4, and you know, it is round 23, so it, it's gonna look a lot worse than it is. I only have this tier one pack punch, so I don't take this all in full true retrospective, okay? I mainly gonna be talking about the stats, everything like that, but it is a overall good weapon. I mean, it does have a fairly fast fire rate of about, I'd say, 850 rounds per minute with the shot. I mean, it does have a really good headshot multiplier as well. You get four. 0.2 times on that extra you know damage so it is really nice especially if you have deadshot daiquiri and if you're not running deadshot daiquiri i i don't know what to tell you it works really really good with ring of fire it always it, it's just one of those weapons that's an all-around good weapon the thing about this weapon that is really really good is it's you know it's just a standard weapon it's really good for just about every single thing it has range it's good for outbreak good for up close encounters because of the rounds per minute and it also has a really high capacity for rounds i mean i have the maxed out round right now with about I think like 110 in the clip somewhere around there and it, it, it always has a right amount of everything I mean the rounds per minute the damage on this weapon is really good as well I know it's round 24 and I'm only cracking out like 1200 per headshot but that that's because you know it's only you know tier one pack a bunch so it's not gonna be as good as it normally would but the th but one of the things about this weapon it does have a lot of range I know I kind of went over outbreak but it does have a really good amount of range in terms of recoil control and all that. It's definitely the best in terms of the assault rifles because it's the easiest to handle. Like, there's no doubt about it. I mean, this thing doesn't really have recoil. The thing doesn't even exist on it. And then, you know, your rate of fire, damage, over time, over range. It's, it's really good. It's really solid. I wouldn't say it's the best, hence why it's at number five. But if you're looking for something that will get the job done and is just overall good, you know, it, it isn't best in one category rather it's good and all you know not a jack it, it, it's more so like a jack of trades rather than like a master of one set of little stat but let's get into number four now for our number four it has got to be the nira 51 or the far 83 now this is a really good rifle and it used to be a little bit better but it, it's not that anything changed with the weapon it's more so kind of like my opinion and also more weapons have came out and it just seems like other weapons are a little bit better but nonetheless it is a really good weapon that kills a, a quite a bit i mean the rounds per minute on this thing is absolutely insane at about 800 fully automatic i mean this thing is going to tear up you can start off with about 30 in the mag but then you can go to 40 and then 50 which is you know really nice because when you pack a punch this bad boy you're gonna be getting some ammo but it's not like you get a ton extra in the clip like the other guns like i said you can have a 50 clip but also you only get to about 82 rounds in the clip which is a little unfortunate but the headshot multiplier on this thing i believe is at about 4.4 instead of 4.2 hence why it's number you know four instead of five and the overall damage of this weapon it really excels in damage and rate of fire the range is pretty all right but it, it is a little bit more jumpy and the vertical recoil kind of bounces horizontally you don't have upward climb but you have side to side climb which can kind of get in the way if you're trying to get those pristine headshots but nonetheless it you know it is a little bit difficult but at the same time if you can manage if you have a good grip and a setup but if you don't it, it, it might be a little bit more difficult than normal this thing is a really good weapon and one i like to run even though it's number four on the list but let's get into number three so for our number three spot we have the ak-47 or the rasputin's retribution and now i know it looks like dog water right now like the commando or xm4 it's tier one blue okay like i was just doing this during the halloween Eve event you know two o'clock in the morning they want to really grind it but we all know this weapon is a really good weapon and it has amazing stats number one the damage best right it has some good range but it has mainly a little bit more re recoil as an ak usually would because you know the bullets are a little bit bigger you're gonna be doing a, lo a little bit more damage the fire rate on this is about 700 to 750 and 
usually when you use this weapon you're not going to be let down i mean it can carry up to about i think round 55 without ring of fire but if you want to be a little bit more safer and it's going to be a little bit higher harder on 55 you know 45 to 50 is a really good area but you know just for a base weapon not even a wonder weapon it beats out most of the wonder weapons which is the craziest thing this thing's better than the ray cave which is so sad to say but this thing really does it does pack a punch quite a bit i mean you are definitely getting bang for buck with this thing it is quite quite a really good weapon and you know it's i don't think it's been nerfed i think non-stop this thing has been buffed which is a really good thing and it just overall if you're looking for a heavy hitter weapon with a little bit faster fire rate not like the odin slow this this is definitely your guy you're gonna want to pick now we have the em c2 or the em2 and this thing let me tell you this thing is actually really really good and you know you might be wondering why is this place over the ak-47 and for a variety of reasons i mean this thing provides the best damage within the assault rifle category in zombies there's just no doubt about it it might be a little bit slower about an rpm i think of about 600 to 650 and this thing i mean it hits hard no recoil very good range I mean, it excels in range. You use this thing in Outbreak with a four times scope or a three times scope, you're not gonna be disappointed. It has a pretty big clip size. I mean, granted, you know, it does have a fairly slow reload because you have to run a 40 clip on this thing rather than a 30 fast mag because you're only gonna get double the digits. So if you run a 30 clip, you're gonna only get 60 in the mag when you pack a bunch of this thing. And granted, it is still quite a bit it doesn't sound like a lot but this thing does have you know a slow rate of fire so you know you're not gonna be chewing through bullets like an ak-47 or an xm4 but this weapon i think we all can agree this one is a really good and you could even contend this for your number one spot or number three i mean the top three they're really really good and understandably so i mean this thing I, I, I don't have a bad time with it. Every time I spawn in with it, I get easy kills. I mean, I'm cracking out like 300, 350 per headshot just on round one. And I mean, as you can see right now, I'm, I'm doing a lot of damage. Granted, you know, napalm and little elemental pop getting in the way, but that doesn't mean the gun isn't good. This thing will carry you easily to round 50. It will do a really good job at doing that. And it just, I, I'm, I'm a little sweet on the gun. It's really fun. This is one of the better guns that they definitely did add. But honestly, gamers, let's just get a number one right now for our number one spot we have the grab this is newly added i mean this thing is an absolute beast i was playing with it i just started playing with it yeah i know kill me i don't really care vanguard's coming out in a week man we're just we're just vibing at this point so so you have this weapon right it has a really good rate of fire i mean i think we're talking about a little bit lower than the xm4 just a tad bit but the headshot multiplier on this thing 4.4 i mean i'm cracking out high damage right now as you can see granted this thing is tier 2 pack punch with purple tier on round 15 so it might look a little bit better than it is but granted trust me this thing is going to carry her and also it's the freaking Galil from Black Ops 1. I mean, if you weren't running this in Zombies or Multiplayer, there was something wrong with you. And granted, it is still great in Cold War as well, which I absolutely love. I mean, it's got a pretty good reload. I mean, 50 round mag, you can get it a little bit lower. You can get a 50 round fast mag as well. The Pack-A-Punch, I wish they gave you a little bit more in the clip. Granted, you only get 70, which is kind of, but at the same time, you know, you're still getting quite a bit ring of fire this thing acts extremely well the range on it is really good granted i have no attachments with this thing besides a 50 round clip so you know it just keep that in mind okay it looks a little bouncy you can get it lower than this i will be doing a class setup possibly on this so just just keep that in mind as well you know it, I mean if you haven't been using the grab I would highly recommend it this thing has extremely well stats it beats out all the other assault rifles in my book really really well it's a really good boss killer as well granted it's not like shotgun it's gonna three pump them but it, it's gonna kill them pretty quick but hey if you haven't already leave a like subscribe all the cool nonsense check out the links in the description you deserve cookie if you missed for it but I'll see you in the next one